When the Memorial Day tornadoes hit, it took hours before we realized how devastating and widespread the damage was. We learned the power outages also led to this. No water anywhere. A failure of the Dayton City water system for tens of thousands of customers. People like Kim Warmbean of Dayton, who has kids at home. <laughs> And since there was no damage in her neighborhood, she never imagined that she would be affected. I was upset because I wanted to take a shower. <laughs> but I never lost water like that. Never. How did it happen? Power was cut off to much of the water system. The city has some backup power, but not enough to run all of their pumps. So they sent out a call for help. Uh, city of Dayton did that shortly following the uh, uh, power outages that occurred during the tornadoes. Um, requested generators. Gilbert is part of a statewide support network called Ohio Warn. Documents obtained by the I-Team show Dayton's request for power generator help came at 2.37 a.m., just a couple of hours after the storm hit. One, two, three. By day two, as the cleanup was in full swing, the city started to bring most people back online. This has been a 24, 48-hour disruption for most people. Still, for thousands, it was more of this. Oh, nothing. Volunteers had to bring in bottled water, and bulk water was available for some people with buckets. Disgruntled customers question why Dayton doesn't have more backup equipment. And they don't have enough generators, I read in the paper. She wondered what other systems do. So we went to Xenia to see how they operate. Well, water is the lifeblood of any community. It's uh, our most important resource. Um, the responsibility to maintain those services 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year is something that we take very seriously. They were quick to show us their backup power system. But this generator here for the water treatment plant, it can run everything, all, all wells that are needed, the entire plant. Could Dayton do that too? City sources say it would come at a huge cost at a time when the system has other infrastructure needs. Our IT team investigation found, yes, it would cost many millions of dollars to provide backup generation at every one of these pumping stations. But at the same time, customers are telling us they don't want to hear that. They want the water to continue to flow despite the storms. I just think that they should have a better backup plan for next time because obviously we see we're not immune to these storms. And it's not just people like Kim. The city's biggest customer, Montgomery County, is also calling for action. The city of Dayton's both water plants um, had ceased production as soon as the tornadoes came through. Patrick Turnbull, the county's environmental services director, says they want a water supply they can count on. Remember, the city had another disruption earlier this year, a major water main break. Okay, now switch them, hurry. So far, the city sees their response to the Memorial Day disaster as favorable. That's relative to how other cities have responded to big storms. I will not be surprised if we get the, the data back where we can compare ourselves to others, and I think it will probably show that we outperformed others. I think our, our team's that good. Commissioner Daryl Fairchild is looking for ways to improve, but says he's reluctant to do it at a cost to other services. Taking that capital fund there and putting it into that means we're taking money from someplace else, perhaps from fire or police or neighborhood development, all of which have an impact on safety. The county says they have $750 million in improvements planned over the next 20 years. They say requesting the city to invest more to keep it all flowing is not too much to ask. For 15 or $20 million in that range, the city could have backup power at their plants and well fields. Should anything like this occur again in the future, they would have backup generation. We at the county actually believe that would be a good investment. He's worried about water for everyday use and having enough to put out a major fire. If that would happen during a disaster. Turnbull says if the city doesn't act, the county may be left to explore its other options. So that the next time a big storm strikes, people won't have to worry about losing their water service. Jim Otte, New Center 7.